just a quick video to show you what I meant about the shared graph editing is here I am in a very small piece of creative writing. Of course, it could be academic writing as well. And um, I am in the midst of editing. So I have the page with the text on it and I also have a page with my edits on it. So first of all, I'm gonna ignore this part and just show you this part. How would I actually um, add my own edits into this particular um, text? So the first thing is as I'm reading, I see that I've used the word privy. So my question is, okay, I don't even know if the word privy is appropriate for that particular time. So I'm just gonna add that um, to my tasks. Then I'm going to highlight the word um, privy and I'm going to, <clears throat> excuse me, and I'm going to press um, command K to open up an alias. And then I'm just gonna carry over um, that task into the uh, text. So then you would see that this is actually linked to this block. So when you put your cursor over privy, you could see there is the actual edit um, and it is linked. And if you like, you can make this into a to-do when you are ready so that you can quickly work through your tasks and then just um, clear out your um, your aliases. The other thing is, um, let's say you have an editor coming in to give you feedback. Obviously, I have um, a, a block called editor feedback. You could obviously nest the name. Um, sorry, you could obviously include double bracket the name of whoever your editor is. Um, and that way you can see all of their stuff on one page. But let's say um, this is their feedback. They've already added this in. So let's say they have been in here and they have um, highlighted, where is it, this piece. And they've done the exact same thing. They've hit Command K and they have added in this. note and they have gone up here to remnants and they have hit command k <clears throat> and then they have added in this note so <clears throat> you can quickly see that um, these are all the things that you have to edit and fix and that's what they've commented on um, if you want to, what I do is every person who is involved in something gets a um, uh, initials. So let's say um, the edit editor initials are my initials. Let's say they're LM or LMC. That would be in front of the um, feedback so that when you actually went and hovered over, um, well, this would have to be done beforehand, you would see that this was the person who was providing me the feedback. So really quickly, that's just a really quick, easy way of handling editing. It's not got too much complexity and um, it's not got too much functionality beyond the basics, but it works for the most part.